So today's video is going to be about how I passed anatomy and physiology in eight weeks. So grab your water, grab your coffee, grab a notepad, whatever you need to get started and let's get right into this video. First things first, you need a planner. If you ain't got one, you're gonna need one. You know you is too old to not be having a planner while you're going through nursing school. Get you a planner, okay? So my planner that I use, it is my holy grail. I carry it everywhere with me. I write down every single thing in it and it is boom. It is made by the happy planner. So you need a planner. Remember this course if you're taking this course in eight weeks, it is very fast. When I tell you, your head will be spinning, okay? Like my head was spinning, I'm, I was drowning, I was, I needed something, okay? Listen, you need a planner, okay? I don't, planner, you need one. I'm telling you, if you do not have a planner, you will be lost. You will forget assignments, you will forget due dates. It is impossible to keep everything in your head for an eight week course, especially anatomy and physiology. Remember, if you are taking this class in eight weeks, it is combined. So it is a 16 week course combined into eight weeks. So you need to be on top of your game, okay? You need to have a planner. I cannot stress it. Listen. I want y'all to succeed. So I'm going to say, if you ain't got you a planner, you need to stop this video, pause it, go to the store and get you a planner, come back and press play. But before you do all of that, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below so you know when I upload. But girl, go get you, girl, go get you a planner, okay? Okay, now we got that out the way, you didn't got your planner you didn't, you didn't went to the store like Sharonda suggested and you got you a planner. Okay, we're, we're past that step. Now we need to figure out our course schedule. If you have a syllabus, sometimes the instructors give out the syllabus early. What you wanna do, cause that's why I say you need a planner. What you wanna do is you want to take your planner, set aside a day, set aside a, few hours or whatever time you have you want to set aside time to put all of the due dates inside of your planner I'm telling you this has helped me out so much like take time to set sit down sit down okay we're gonna sit down and we're going to put all of our due dates whether it's discussion board posts, whether it's exams, whether it's quizzes, whether it's regular assignments, whether it's lectures, you want to put everything in your planner, okay? That way you have everything you need, you go on week by week and you know exactly what you need. That has helped me out a lot. Now, normally when I am going through a course that is 16 weeks, I do week by week, but I've taken two anatomy classes. They have both been eight weeks. And I can tell you, I've learned from not doing this the first time around in physiology or anatomy and physiology. One, I've learned that I cannot go week by week because it goes really, 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 really fast. Okay, get your planner, number one. Put all your due dates in, number two. Okay, now you are all set and you are ready to go. So this is what you are going to do you are going to study literally like it's your only class. Like for an eight week course with this much coursework, you want to study every day. During this class, during this time frame that you are taking this eight week course, you have time for nothing, okay? Nothing. So what you are going to do is you are going to study like crazy. I know anatomy and physiology is used for one of the prereqs for applying to the nursing program and they do go off of your raw science grade. This is a vital class. All classes are important, but your science classes are the most vital. You need to make sure that you score high 
the highest grade possible in all of your science classes. Trust me, I literally lived, breathed, studied, dreamed about this class. I couldn't wait for it to be over. Trust me. Like, you need to be prepared for an eight week course. I was like, yeah, let me take anatomy and physiology and in eight weeks and you know, boom, we're gonna get this over with. No, that eight weeks make you work. Like you have time for literally nothing. So those who are not ready for it and those who are not ready for an accelerated course, thinking it's gonna be easy because it's eight weeks, please rethink about taking this class because this class or any eight week class you're gonna have to put in work and I'm telling you the coursework is fast different things that I did to pass anatomy and physiology I am a visual learner I am a person who does not like to sit and read a textbook all day or sit and listen to lectures all day. That does not intrigue me. That does not help me. I get bored very quick. So what I would normally do is if I get bored with a text, I would go onto YouTube and I would watch crash courses on anatomy and physiology. And then I would take my own notes. I would color code highlight um, using whatever highlighters I have I will color coordinate my notes. That is how I study. I'm not sure how you study. These are the tips that work for me. And listen, your girl passed, okay? So I'm trying to share my tips with you. And then we, you know, we're going we gonna to succeed together, okay? So now, also, I created note cards. So I, I'm a visual learner, okay? So I like to purchase colorful index cards that will help me study. I then write down my notes and then I write something on the back. Whatever I'm studying, it has helped me out a lot. Um, I use colored pens, I used highlighters, I use note cards. Whatever makes me, listen, let me show you. Hold on, let me show you my planner. Okay, so this is the month of June. And I'm done with anatomy and physiology. I am taking micro. So for the first week of micro, let me just show you what my planner looks like. So this is what my planner looks like. I am very color coordinated. Like this is what she looks like. And it just depends on um, the coursework as well. I'm only taking one class this semester. So this is what one class looks like along with all the other stuff that I have to do. If you guys can see, this is what one class looked like. Now imagine last semester I was taking three classes. So this, this calendar was very colored coordinated. So that's how I learned. Listen, that works for me. I suggest you finding something that works for you. I'm telling you, this has worked. It kept me from not like, listen, I cannot sit and watch hours and hours and hours of boring lectures. I did it because I wanted to pass, but in order to make the course work for me, I would watch the lectures. I would write on my note cards, the information from the lectures, and I would study from the lectures because it was just boring to me. I'm sorry. It it was boring. Like you watching an instructor talk for hours on a subject that's already complicated and already um, crunched up into eight weeks. So you're like, what is going on? Like literally you, you need to memorize everything. And the best way for me to memorize is by color coding using note cards. Okay. Take good notes because once you open that exam, baby, your mind will be like, what? Did I even study this? Like, when did I study this? When did he or she talk about this? I literally opened my first exam and I was like, wait, 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 hold up. We did not study this. Like, But then I had to realize that the course is going so fast, you touch on every 
subject, you have to create your own notes and you have to study your own notes and make sure that you are staying on top of it. Okay. Um, another thing that I did to pass anatomy and physiology, I did form a study group. Now, I did have a study group halfway into the program or not the program I did have a study group halfway into the semester or the eight weeks but then COVID happened so we did everything separately so the study group was helpful what I did not know someone else did and if we didn't we figured it out together but after the COVID happened or after the COVID situation happened I had to study on my own because again we were practicing social distancing so what I did is I would put more effort into my study time. Like I stated in my last video on my top tips to um, for working moms, I can link it somewhere below or somewhere throughout this video about my top tips for working moms that are currently pursuing nursing or nursing school. One of my tips were to set alarms to study um, earlier or later, depending on your work schedule. And if you haven't already, um, I do have my top 10 tips for pre-nursing students. If you haven't watched that video, check it out. It, it's got some good tips in there. I'll link it somewhere throughout the video. And um, yeah, so study groups, study groups, study groups. If you can um, hold yourself accountable, hold your group members accountable, just make sure you prepare. So another thing that helped me pass anatomy and physiology is before listening to the lectures, I would read the text. So I would have a glimpse of what the chapter or what the lecture would be about. That way I can read the text, put it in my own words, and I already know what the lecture is going to be about. If you are that type of person where you want to know what the lecture is going to be about or just to have some information on what's going on because it goes by so fast you may want to read the textbook itself take notes on your own color code highlight whatever you want to do and then listen to the lecture sometimes the lectures are an hour sometimes they're an hour and a half depending on your instructor but that is what helped me because it gave me a different study option that way i'm not bored so another thing that helped me was to highlight areas in the text that I did not fully understand. That way, when I would go back to study, I would create my own notes, breaking down the information to where I can understand it and to where I can learn it. That way I'm prepared for whether we have quizzes or exams, because again, this class goes by pretty quick and you will need to memorize. Memorization is everything for this class because you have to learn a lot of material in such a short period of time. So studying every day, little by little, if you have to, hours at a time, um, if that works for you, to make sure you get down the material. And what I would also do is quiz myself. So again, I would use the note cards and I would, oh, uh -huh. as you can see, look, <laughs> hair follicle, this is for anatomy, or melanin. These are actually my anatomy cards. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so what I would do is I would use um, the note cards here. These are my old ones because, again, I just took it last semester. These are my old cards. I would write down what I'm focusing on and I would quiz myself on um, the back. So whenever I had time, I always quiz myself. Quizzing myself really helped me out, especially if you are given a study guide for the exam or for the quiz, you want to write down those questions on some note cards and you want to quiz yourself. These are all the things that I did to help me pass anatomy and physiology in eight weeks. If you guys have some study tips, please leave them down below. I'll be happy to try them on my next classes. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you like the video. Again, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do not forget to hit that red subscribe button down below so you know when I upload. Again, thank you so much, you guys, for supporting my content. And until next time, bye.